It's green and go for the proposed Cebu Bus Rapid Transit System. The project is the recipient of a $115 million loan from the World Bank. George Bandola reports. The World Bank has finally approved a financing package for the Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project designed to provide the city's residents and workers with a more efficient, reliable, fast, safe, and climate-friendly transport system. For its part, the Department of Transportation and Communications allocated some 1.3 billion pesos to pay for the road right-of-way and establishment of jeepneys and bus terminals that are directly connected with any of the 33 proposed BRT stations. The Cebu BRT will be built along the 16-kilometer segregated busway from Barangay Bulacao to Ayala Mall in Cebu City and will pass through the Cebu South Road. Stations will be within the Cebu Central Business District, Capital Site, Ayala Shopping Mall, and IT Park. Expected to carry 330,000 passengers daily, the new BRT system will improve mobility of Cebu residents while reducing pollution and increasing travel safety. According to the World Bank's website, the project will also install a state-of-the-art computer traffic management system in the entire city to ensure smoother overall traffic flow and will provide other improvements to integrate the BRT with other modes of transport patterned after the successful BRT systems in Seoul, South Korea and Guangzhou, China. Meantime, expected to further complement the administration's goal of seamless travel, the Public-Private Partnership Center has announced that the new North-South Railway Project South Line is now on the pre-qualification bidding process. The the proposed 653-kilometer railway project will be built along the old Philippine National Railway route from Tutuban to Ligaspi City in Albay, all the way to Matnog Sorsogon for long-haul cargo. The project, which is said to be around 170 billion pesos or $3.7 billion, has attracted several bidders. It already passed the initial stages on the conduct of its feasibility study and the DOTC evaluation. The project also has passed the approval of the Infrastructure Coordinating Committee as as well as the National Economic and Development Authority. The DOTC says the South Rail project will greatly complement the need for a cleaner and better transportation, as well as a tourism in southern Luzon and Bicol. For the People's Television, George Bandola.